Basically, this video is being inspired by me wanting to get some frustration out and if you don't get it out, then it just bubbles in you and it's not good. Uh, the guy I'm talking about, he's not going to watch it, I know. Like, I, he tries to comment about my videos when I know he's not seen it. <laughs> I do love you guys. Basically, you know those glucose syrup love hearts? Not even sugar ones, but they're like glucose syrup, like a centimeter thick. We went and played tennis. Nat Nat gave Chris, or is it Chris to Nat Nat? I don't know. This like the, the love heart is so bloody cute, man. They are both amazing for each other. I went to Chris like, that's heart disease. It really went out not like I wanted to. It was just a split second reaction. I couldn't help it. But like, I know there's like heart disease in his family, right? I don't want my mate to be ill. <laughs> just because I've been, I've taught myself to create a shield against anything that is not good for me, you know? Oh God. And a glucose syrup love heart is like, to me is like, is like death. That could create half a week of depression and feeling crap. So I'm like, you know, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a shield towards that. I mean, who wouldn't if you've been actually through a lot of the stuff I've been through. But then Carol was like, man, at the second I said that, he was like, like, it was like as if I was just like, it's been really, really insulting. He was like, Matt, but you do drugs. <gasps> Mate, you. This was a Sunday. Mate, you do sports, by the way. He's gonna be on the on the. He's on the Great Britain team. Congratulations, mate, because you deserve it. But you got completely wasted on alcohol, and you do sports anyway. So like. And you know, that's your choice of drug, but to be fair, like how does that help you just be just before you train in the swimming pool? But it's gonna ruin your performance, but you know what? That's your problem, not mine. And that's your choice of drug. That's also a drug. Let's get technical here. I did study chemistry at A level and got a bloody good A for it. I could have got better. <laughs> so don't be telling me it's drugs, because alcohol is the most popular drug and Statistically, it causes the most harm. Weed, statistically, just at the worst case scenario, creates a load of bums. It's tied down with criminal activities because it is illegal and it's a good way to make money for criminal entities. But essentially, in the form of itself being administered into the body, it just chills you out. And when you get super high, you fall asleep or you start running away from your own shadow. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> um, or you fall asleep, or you eat more, or you laugh a lot more. When people say that it's for their back pain, yeah, just take anything else, but when it's... It's good for epilepsy, it's good for MS, it's good for Crohn's, it's good for cancer, it's good for... We can carry on, it does help allow people to get a better quality of life. I wouldn't say cures or kind of, it's the magic fix, but it definitely improves life, you know, and if you're old enough to have it, you know, and it not bugger your brain up, then <sighs> I wish I didn't have any now, because I mean, I'd be, I'd be smoking up. I have to go get some, it costs 20, 20 bag once a week, you know, I can do that. But then he was like, drugs. And I was like, I got so angry, man, because actually, you don't know, you've never been in hospital with me, you never seen blood being put into my veins when I'm, when I can barely walk up the stairs because I'm losing my breath. You know, you've never been to a doctor's appointment where they basically just chat a load of, a load of BS most of the time. But worst you've seen me was when we used to train for five months. I got kind of semi-like built in college college anybody who just trains a little bit is like ooh. the worst you saw was after my like eight final exams for my a-levels you're like matt you, but you're skinny now yeah i am skinny now because crohn's you can lose muscle really quick there was a lot of dull or low grade pain where i'd end up stretching and trying to like pretend nothing's happened but actually it just makes you kind of like irritable and then you're just kind of trying to be like, not say much, or when you say stuff, try to bring the energy out of nowhere to try to be like all bubbly when you're like, 
thinking this is the last thing you know you want to be doing you just feel like you just want to just be negative and pessimistic but i guess it does represent my love in its most pure form it can be the most beautiful thing but it could be dangerous at times. Okay, so the moral of the story is remain positive. And if you're tired or feeling cranky, just shut up. Because <laughs> I caused a bit of aggro when we really didn't have to. One more thing. If you could please do your Amazon shopping through my Amazon links down below, that would really help me to make future videos for you guys and invest in gear and stuff. So... Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys.